Alright guys, so this is going to be the more simplified version because the last video was like 12 minutes and I just, I went into nice detail, I went into very good detail on all the specs on this thing. Uh, there it is right there. Yeah, so this this is going to be a little bit short. I'm going to try to keep it to 5 minutes. Hopefully not try to go over 5 minutes, but anyway, enjoy the video guys. Alright, here it is guys. Here is the low C8 Truggy. Now, this thing uh, is looking pretty sweet. I've spent so much time working on this thing. Uh, last time you seen a video on this thing was like the video at the track, which was like a month ago, or something crazy like that. And I have and I've um, com uh, competed in a couple races with it so far. I've gotten third with this thing. I'm very competitive with this thing. This thing is a real racer. It's tuned to be raced. To be raced, you know. It's also kind of tuned to be bashed as well. It's kind of both. So it can really it can do well on a track and well in a basher setting so on the surface what you're gonna see well um, just to get this out of the way this is an electric conversion from the nitro there's the original engine right there haven't even fired that thing up and I'm probably gonna use that for something else which I don't even know at this point but um, it's an electric conversion from the ready to run nitro version uh, to electric and uh, so yeah that's, uh, that's pretty much what it is it's got the electric 3.0 TLR 3.0 truggy body fits on there very nicely actually that's got the standard XT XXT or like some like the XTT tires uh, part number is right there guys if you want to know what these tires are because these are actually very nice tires they're good for racing and they're also very very good for bashing as well uh, and they're very, and the compound is hard enough to where it can do good on street and good on you know some other different terrains as well so um, also on the surface you're going to see are these standard plastic shocks. I actually have Team Losi Racing shocks, um, but they're a little bit, you know, they're actually a little bit, uh, they're broken right now, so I really can't use them, but I have these plastic ones uh, just in case of the uh, aluminum ones break. So let's get into the guts of this thing. I'm gonna go front to rear on this thing, guys. So starting with the front, you got your standard plastic shocks, and I have really dampened these. These have 60 weight shock oil, and they act like they have 30 because they're really, really thin. Uh, not like the big bore aluminum ones. Fixed tie rods, uh, standard uh, standard shock tire with a black aluminum one. Not as good as the gold anodized racing one, but whatever. Um, this turn buckle down here, this tie rod, uh, snapped, so I've been kind of treating it with some Gorilla Glue. I haven't even taken it out today, but, you know, it's, it's already night, so I can really can't take it out. But, uh, moving on beyond that, let's go to the chassis. So, up here we have an LW20KG steering servo, with an aluminum steering horn. I actually got those with the order whenever I ordered the servo. Radio system that it's running, it's running with the standard DX2E radio. I didn't throw this thing out, guys, I still have it. I'll probably be upgrading to that soon, upgrading that uh, transmitter soon. Uh, right here we have a MyLapse transponder, it works very well, have had never had an issue with it so far, uh, except for coming off to the, uh, it is attached with Velcro and I don't want it to get in these so I'm kind of working on that. Um, gearing what we got going on here is a 52 spur with a 13 tooth pinion, very torquey, uh, instead of uh, more speed. You know, I was actually running a 16 tooth pinion before, but a little bit, a little bit much, a little bit much of the electronics. We're running a 2200 kV Castle Mamba Monster motor with a fan, because it does still get really hot here in Texas, even though it is on this low gearing. Uh, what else we got going back here? Um, it's a sensor motor. I'm running it sensor less because uh, I really don't need sensor because why the hell not? Um, Eight logo uh, center diff brace looks very nice. Kind of looks like the 2.0. Uh, coming around to the other side, we have a 5200Z battery, 50C. Very good for racing and very good for kind of everything really. 
uh, holds out for a while and they are very just very nice batteries Deans connectors some people would hate some people hate Deans connectors but I personally like them um, it's running a castle Mamba Monster X speed controller handles up a 6s it's waterproof and it's just very very durable and it hasn't I haven't had any heating with heating issues with it yet so yeah um, that's pretty good oh it's thundering outside not sure if you guys heard that but you know um, back here in the rear um, I'm gonna talk about a little mod here in a second but uh, how we have standard plastic shocks uh, with a ton of preload this is as much preload as I'm probably gonna get to be completely honest but they work well fixed tie rods obviously we got sway bars in the rear uh, it's kind of messy back here, but uh, standard dog loads back here. Standard shock tower as well. Nothing really too special about that, except that it works. You know, um, and the mod that I was actually going to talk about. Yeah, that's right. Uh, down here on the top of the. Uh, actually, I have a broken one right here. So right here, um, these screws up here do not hold. That's a fact. These are terrible. They are held in by a very very small screw. And it's on a very very big area the wing and sometimes it, the car crashes on the wing you know, When that happens these screws strip out So what I've done is I've put in bigger screws with the uh, flathead uh, Flathead uh, heads on there doesn't really matter what they are as long as they're bigger and I've put uh, Nuts through through them so that now it's actually being held down just like these ones up here they're actually, um, these ones right there, they're actually mounted down by a nut, which is actually pretty cool. So now it takes all the heavy hits. So that's what we really got for today, guys. Um, if you guys want to see some more running videos with it, I'm going to be, whenever the weather clears up and whenever the weather gets drier, I'm going to make a video about it. I really don't like to um, film when I race, guys, because, I don't know, because I don't, because I can't film. And whenever I do film, usually my family member, family member will film, and I feel like if I was filming, like I really wouldn't be enjoying it as much because I don't know, I just don't like filming. I kind of just like, I just kind of like to watch what's going on instead of filming it and just watching it later because I think that's a little bit, a little bit, uh, just not my thing. So I just don't really film a lot of races per se. I just have like a a whole bunch of like track videos of me just like practicing and whatnot whenever my family decides to film me with my phone so yeah um, I'll probably be coming out with some bash videos with this thing pretty soon uh, tell me guys what you think in the comments do you like the look of this thing or not because and it handles very very well and it's just overall a great runner so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video bye